Hello everyone. I am very excited to introduce the course on Informatica ActiveOS Designer. This course is available on Udemy platform. You can register for this course using the link which is mentioned in the description section of this video. At the end of this course, you will be able to understand the already implemented workflow in the ActiveOS. Not only that, you will be able to create your own workflow and use that in your project. So who is this course for? This course is especially designed for the developers and testers. The developers who is going to develop the new workflow or update the existing workflow. Tester can leverage this course to understand the various concepts of the Activos Designer, perform the unit as well as the integration testing by using Activos Designer tool itself. Apart from developers and testers, business analysts can use this course as an important toolkit to understand the various terminologies and also prepare the business requirement based on the existing behavior of this workflow designer. Now, once we have this all the basic things, who is going to use this and what this course for? The next thing is what we are going to cover in this course. That's a very important question. In this course, we are going to cover the overview of Activos. Activos has three major components. One is Activos Designer, then we have the Activos Console and Activos Central. This course is especially designed and prepared for the Activos Designer only. That means it is more focused on the development side rather than the administration or the data stewardship. So definitely we'll have the overview of the Activos and then we'll learn the several terminologies such as what is activity, what is abstract process, then we'll understand the, what is BPL, partner links and Miro, these terminologies. After having the basic understanding of these terminologies, we'll explore the architecture of Activos, where this Activos fits in the Informatica master data management ecosystem. So the architecture will give that detail where the Activos fits. After that, we'll understand how to install the Activos designer. The steps are very straightforward, but we'll have the demo on the installation part. After that, we'll understand the business use case. As a demo purpose, we are going to take the banking loan approval process where we'll consider the various scenarios such as low risk loan, high risk loan, or large loan which requires the review and approval process. After this, we are going to learn what is a partner link. Partner link consists of the additional functionality which is present in the external service. So we have to leverage the external services rather than implementing everything in our workflow. So once we have the basic logic and the additional details such as partner links, we can design our workflow. So design of the workflow is important step for the implementation of the workflow. So we'll design and then followed by that, we'll create our orchestration project. This orchestration project is nothing but our Activos project. So this will comes with the templates, where to put the web services, where to put the XSD file, where to put the BPL file. All that structure will come as an orchestration project. We have to just keep adding the components. So one of the components which we add in this workflow is nothing but the activities. We design the activity, we develop the activity, and during the development, we add the activities such as the receive activity, reply activity. We also design the layouts. For that, we will use the palettes, different tasks, and update the associated properties. Of course, we are going to use the external links or the partner links for the achieving the risk assessment in our loan approval process, as well as for approving the loan. Once we have this our orchestration project ready or development is done, the next thing we need to handle is nothing but the error scenarios. These error scenarios can be implemented by using fault handling, which comes with the fault handler 
and also we need to add the reply if something error or some fault occur during the execution. Okay, so once the development is done, fault handling is also done. Next part is nothing but the simulation. So simulation is nothing but creating environment which is equivalent or which will resemble to the actual environment in your real-time project. We cannot test this functionality immediately in the real-time environment, hence the simulation is needed. So we'll create our the forms and etc and we'll execute the request and we'll see how the functionality is working. So that simulation will come in this section. So as a part of simulation, there will be two phases. Very first phase will be preparing the sample data and then performing actual execution. When we prepare the sample data, of course, we'll create a new data. But there are some scenarios where we need to override the values. So we'll have the override values scenarios as well. During the execution, we'll have the two kind of basic testings. And that is the thing, nothing but success scenarios and error or fault scenarios. So this whole simulation will happen by using the Activos designer. Okay, simulation is done, unit testing is done. So simulation and the unit testing are nothing but one and same because simulation is needed to perform the unit testing. So once the unit testing is done, the next thing is nothing but the deployment. We can deploy this, our archival file, that is the business process archival file on the Activos console. So we'll understand where to deploy, how to deploy, and what are the things you need to take care of as a part of deployment. So as a part of deployment, definitely we need to create the archive file. And then we have to deploy this archive file or BPL file on the Activos console. Then for the unit testing, definitely we need to deploy some forms, which will, will create those forms and will deploy those on Activos Central. That's a total different tool. And once the deployment is done, then we can perform the testing or we can do the debugging. Debugging is very important to analyze the issue. If there is an unexpected behavior is happening in your workflow and in, in case you would like to understand how the flow is executing, in that case, debugging will help. Especially when the issue occurs in the production, you can use the debugging technique, which will, will be learning in this course. If you do not have the Activos console tool, then you can use the web service browser, which comes with Activos designer, and you can perform the execution and the unit testing, as well as the simulation of your work workflow using Activos Designer itself. So these are the things which we are going to learn. I'm very excited to present this course to all of you. I hope you'll enjoy this journey.